What's going on guys, Jake the programmer here and in today's video we're gonna be covering a lot of stuff and by the end of this video you should be able to answer the question, should I pursue a coding career in the year 2023? We got a lot of statistics that we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be looking at the current coding job market and we're gonna be finding which routes you should take, why you should take them, how much you can make in these routes. And overall, we're gonna look at what it takes to build a future-proof career in coding. So let's get started with this article by Harvard EDU. Now, this article has tons of really good information, but what I really wanna do is start right here. So tech is taking over. Robotics, 3D printing, artificial intelligence, and 5G wireless network, and other technologies are providing us with machine capabilities never before possible. The fourth industrial revolution, like the three that came before it, will dramatically alter the job market. Without a doubt, technology is changing the way jobs work, but it's always been doing that. If we look at farming, for an example, it went from having 20 people on a farm to using tractors. Technology always changes the way careers function. Let's talk about the importance of building a future-proof career. So a future-proof career is essentially a career that will last a long time. For example, doctors. Doctors are gonna be around forever. So it's about finding a career that can last you a long time. And it's about finding out whether or not software development and overall just computer programming is in that realm. So let's scroll down a little bit further and let's take a look at the emerging roles and growing sectors. So according to the BLS report, on the fastest growing op occupations in the US from 2016 to 2026, the following positions are expected to be in high demand. Now we have some pretty obvious stuff physician assistants, nurse practitioners, but what I really wanna take a look at is here. Software and application developers is projected for a 31% growth. This is awesome, this is great news. Now granted, it says 2016 to 2026, it's 2023. We only got three years left. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a look at the Bureau of Labor Statistics and get more in-depth information. So that's what I did. So here, we can look at the job outlook from 2021 to 2031, 25%, much faster than the average. In fact, if we look at the average percent employment change from 2021 to 2023, it's only 5%. That means software developers is going up 20% faster than the average. Now, I wanna shift focus to right down here. Not only is software developers coming up 26%, but let's get more specific. If we look, take a look up higher, web developers, and we'll talk about why pursuing web development might be the best option for you here in just a moment. The web developer outlook for tw from 2021 to 2031 is expected to increase 30%. 30.3% for web development growth. But not only web developers, let's not, let's not just stop there, let's get even more specific and let's start looking at the, the money that could be made in web development, specifically React development. And like I said, we'll talk more about the languages and the technical stuff here in just a moment, but right now I just wanna look at the careers. So as a React developer, on average, you can make $92,000 a year. And that says all years of experience. Let's, let's dial this in even further. Let's take a look at zero to one years of experience. Boom, look at that, $81,760 a year. That is zero to one year of experience as a React developer. That is a junior React developer. And even on the, on the lesser side, $65,000 a year starting. Not a lot of skills have that kind of compensation. So now let's talk about what challenges we might be facing. So we have this great news, great. Jobs are gonna be there. What are those jobs gonna look like? What skills are you gonna need for those jobs? So number one, and probably the biggest and most popular and trending right now is AI, and specifically ChatGPT. ChatGPT right now is a tool not a replacement. Now, I made a whole video about AI taking over programming jobs, and I would definitely recommend you watch it. Link down below, go check it out. But here's the gist. ChatGPT 
cannot do what us humans can do when it comes to creative thinking and problem solving. Yes, ChatGPT is helpful for making writing code more efficient, but programming requires complex problem solving. You'll run into problems that ChatGPT can't fix. There has been plenty of cases where ChatGPT has given bad, bad code that can't be used. And without having an understanding of how programming and coding works, you won't be able to find and catch those mistakes. Technical stuff aside, ChatGPT does not have the ability to think like us humans can. And as of right now, it's not replacing any software development jobs. Computer programming is much more in depth and it requires human expertise and someone that can understand code. Now, another problem that the coding job market is facing is developers that don't understand what they're doing. You have thousands of people that are learning how to code, but not a lot of them are learning what they need to learn. The coding job market needs passionate developers. That means developers that want to build cool shit. That also means developers that are willing to learn soft skills and developers that are willing to learn the right coding practices. Let's start with those. Programmers need to be able to write code that is modular. What that means is being able to take a large program and break it down into smaller modules. And these are basically more manageable components with its own specific functionality and purpose. Let's think about a puzzle, except each piece has its own purpose. And you can take out those pieces and put them back in without affecting the entire program. Programmers need to know how to write code that is extendable. That means the software is able to be adjusted and adapt without having to be written from scratch. And programmers should be able to work as a team. Now, now let's get into the soft skills and actually let's pull up the World Economic Forum because this is extremely helpful. These are the core skills for workers in 2023. These are the top skills people are looking for. Number one, analytical thinking. Number one, look at that and creative thinking. These are the top two core skills for workers in 2023. This is what people are looking for. And like I said before, these are the two skills that ChatGPT and AI do not have. This is what separates a good developer from a bad developer, the ability to think and solve problems. Let's look down here, creative thinking, 73%. Analytical thinking, 71%. And if we look up here, these are some of the other skills that are important for workers in 2023. Resilience, flexibility, and agility. Motivation and self-awareness. Curiosity and lifelong learning. This one especially applies with the programming industry. Lifelong learning. Programmers need to be able to adapt to the modern technologies. This is huge. And with that being said, let's shift over to the more technical stuff. So we talked a little bit about web development and it's clear web development is the field to be in, especially if you're just starting out as a programmer and you're wanting to get into the coding industry fast. So what I have pulled up now is the 2022 developer survey from Stack Overflow. And guys, all these links are down below. This is a ton of good, helpful information. Let's take a look at the most popular technologies. So boom, right there, JavaScript, number one, 65%. That's amazing. Let's take a look at people who are learning to code. Look at that. 62% starting with HTML, CSS, and 59% JavaScript. So if you're wondering what technologies you should start with, HTML and CSS, then move to JavaScript. Now, let's take a look at some of the frameworks. Boom, Node.js and React.js, specifically React.js, because yeah, we're looking for that 80K salary, 42%. This is what the industry is looking for. Now, when it comes to constantly learning something else, and I'm letting you guys in on this, TypeScript is popping. Being able to transition from JavaScript to TypeScript is huge because that is a skill that employers are looking for. In fact, we just started teaching TypeScript inside our curriculum at DevSubs Academy because we know how important it is to be able to constantly learn and adapt to the new technologies that are required to survive in the programming industry. Look at this. 2022 marks JavaScript's 10th year in a row as the most commonly used programming language. So let's recap. What does it take to build a future-proof career in programming? Well, first of all, it's understanding that the job outlook from 2021 to 2023 is going up by 25%. In web development specifically, it's going up 
30%. Are we facing challenges? Yes, artificial intelligence. How do we overcome that obstacle? It's about being a passionate developer. It's about wanting to build cool shit. And it's about having the creative thinking and soft skills required to stand out. That means knowing how to write clean code, knowing how to write code that is able to be managed by a team of developers, knowing how to work with a team of developers, and becoming a problem solver. And where is the best place to start? Becoming a React developer. React developers can make $80,000 a year starting salary and the learning process. HTML and CSS, JavaScript, React, and not just stopping from there, adapting, learning things like TypeScript, backend development. Guys, so the answer, the answer, should you still pursue a career in coding in 2023? 1000% yes. Just remember, programming is more than just writing code and it always has been and always will be. Regardless of artificial intelligence, regardless of whatever new piece of technology comes out there, be willing to adapt and be open-minded. Guys, keep fucking coding. That's it for now, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's gonna be a lot more videos like this. I would love for you guys to check out our video on AI and how it's not taking over programming jobs. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Jake the Programmer, peace.